So to begin with, I specifically looked through my closet and I found that I needed bottoms. And so I actually was pretty, pretty successful, I think, in finding some things that would fill out some outfits. I was much more strict with myself. It needs to look like it's gonna fit. It needs to not have any stains or tears in it limited to no alterations needed and it needs to have like the correct color palette that I enjoy personally because sometimes I like the look of an item but then the color is a bit weird or like I'm not really into the color but I get it anyway and then I bring it home and then I never wear it so I was pretty pretty set on what I wanted. This is a shop called Psychic Sister. They're sort of like a curated thrift shop slash witchy shop. They have really cool stuff. I didn't actually buy anything from there. I just went in to sort of get inspiration, just browse a bit. It was really nice and there was basically nobody inside. So, I mean, why not? They also sell tarot cards, which we all know is just so tempting, but I think that's really cool. And they also used to do readings there, but I think because of the circumstances, they don't anymore. I could be wrong though. So, I mean, you could always go in and ask if you're around here and you want to. Yeah, I just think it's super cool. Compass Rose is by no means a thrift shop. It's sort of like a very expensive touristy shop, but they have some nice candles in there and nice jewelry. They also have this perfume that I bought when I was younger and it's just so nostalgic. I was just perusing truly downtown. When you are thrift shopping, be strict with yourself. I found myself saying no to some things that I normally would buy even though they weren't the best or they had stains on them or they just weren't exactly what I was looking for. And I'm so much happier with my haul that I brought home with me. So definitely set yourself some guidelines and try to follow those as best you can. While my clothes were in the wash, I figured I would show you an unboxing of this little nightlight type thing that I got recently. It is a starry night projector and it sort of looks like it's projecting a nebula or intergalactic matter or something like that. I have been not sleeping very well recently and sometimes I would leave a light on or something like that and it's just sort of distracting trying to go to sleep with the light on, but this is so beautiful and soothing it can be dim you can adjust the light but i just thought maybe if any of you also struggle with sleeping at night this might help or if you just want something to project a beautiful intergalactic experience on your wall this would be amazing for you it is so pretty it's even prettier in person and if you're interested in getting one I actually have like the coupon codes for them for I believe the US and Canada so if you just check the description box I'll put them in there. Okay so I went to Value Village in Goodwill and I found only a couple of things but I was being very 
particular about what I wanted. I guess I'll just get into showing you. I can't, sorry if I'm like squinting, I ran out of contacts a while ago and I'm supposed to get more in a couple of days, but um, for now I'm just sort of existing without contacts. So, and I don't wanna put my glasses on because of the light. I don't want there to be a glare. I was looking for something that was a bit of a mock neck and preferably cream or a lighter color because I do have black turtlenecks. I don't have any white turtlenecks, but I wanted something a bit more layerable for the warmer months. Layerable, is that a word? This is what I got. I found this and I was like, you know what? That's actually perfect. Yeah, this is like a mesh sort of like, it's, it's pretty opaque or see-through transparent, but I found that this was really nice for layering underneath a lot of things because it is so thin and it's like not a heavy material at all. Yeah, it's pretty breezy, pretty breathable, and you could use this as an underneath layer or even if it's warmer, you could put like a little lacy thing underneath and then put this over top of it. That would be really pretty. You could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with literally anything. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. The next thing I found was this big sweater, which when I found this, I thought, mm, is that gonna be big enough or is that gonna be like a tight sweater on me? It is the perfect amount of baggy. I love oversized knit jumper type things and this is just perfect because it isn't too thick. It's not like heavy and thick and hot. It's more breezy somehow and it's like such a perfect color, probably definitely one of my favorite shades of green. And I just feel like this is really nice for those spring days when it's maybe raining outside or overcast. I actually wore this today, but I changed out of it so that you could see it on the hanger. I don't know why I did that, but uh, I just thought it might be easier to hold it up like this instead of trying to show it to you on twice. It's really nice. This one is from a brand or from a person, I don't know, Karen Scott and it's an extra large and it just fits exactly how I was hoping it would, but I was not expecting it to. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll go on to jeans now. Well, I don't know if they're jeans, trousers. Um, I got two pairs of pants, I guess. These ones are a very warm tan brown color. They are called Denim Riders. Riders, I don't know if that's um, significant to anybody, but it's that. And these are, well, I don't know what size they are, but these just look super nice. They are a little bit loose, which makes them not like super low rise, but sort of like hip, hip huggers. Is that what they're called? I don't know. They just look, sort of like rest on my hips. If I wanted to, I could definitely tie a string in the back or put a belt on to make them a bit more high-waisted. And either way works. They're just such a nice, warm brown tan color and I don't have any I don't have any pants this color so I'm really happy that I found these and then the next pair is actually also denim that is a bit of a different color um, which is sort of like a more green tan this one I find a little bit harder the color a little bit harder to style but when you get it right with a right um, pairing it looks really nice and they're actually Calvin Klein they are in super, super nice condition. They were actually in the little boys section. Like they were labeled as boys jeans and I'm pretty sure they are, but it's weird because they fit perfectly on my body. They go in at the waist and then out at the hips and then in again. And I'm just like, how are these little boy pants? Even if these are women's jeans, I'm glad that they labeled them as boy jeans because it made them super cheap. These were like, I don't know, maybe like $3 or something like that, $5, which is crazy because if I were to get jeans like this in women's Calvin Klein's, especially on an online thrift store or something, or if I bought them new online, they would be so expensive. But these are really cute and I like having them rolled up at the bottom. When I picked them up at the thrift store, they were kind of rolled at the bottom and I was like, hmm, cute idea. And it just sort of like reminds me of I don't know, like Peter Pan-esque, I guess. I'm not really sure, just sort of free-spirited. I don't know, but they're really cute and they were a really good deal. The next thing I got, I actually already kind of like, that was kind of one of my rules was no alterations, but this one seemed like a fine exception because it is a flowy, 
very flowy skirt. Oh, the um, brand is Roz and Ali. But because it was too big for me, I have these, they're actually jean adjusters that you just pin on. It's like a little hook and then this one's like a little loop and then you just clip them together like that. And I actually wore this the other day and it fit perfectly with this little, with this little adjustment thingy and I don't even feel like I'm going to adjust it in any other way. I think it looks fine. And also I think that this little, this little detail, like the gold detail looks really pretty on it as well. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it looks terrible, but I think it looks really cute and adds a little, a little spice to it. So I like that a lot. This is gonna seem a bit random. I know everything sort of like fits into the category of earthy, um, witch, I don't know, kind of, sort of like academia in general. And this is very, very um, Tinkerbell, I guess. I don't know. It reminds me of a fairy, definitely. I'm actually not sure what it is. I can't tell if it's a dress or if it's a skirt, but either way, it looks good, I think. Although when I tried it on as a dress, it did make me look like I was pregnant, but this just makes me wanna like, I don't know, I don't necessarily want to frolic with the fairies, but it just makes me sort of look like a fairy, I guess, in a Tinkerbell kind of way. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is really cute as a skirt specifically, which was my original intention until I thought, is this supposed to be a dress? That's a little bit random. Yeah, this is the last thing I got, I guess. Now I can wear more things out of my closet, so it feels like I bought more new stuff when really I'm just sort of pulling stuff out of my closet that I didn't know I could wear until now, so that's the whole point. That was my whole goal. I think I've accomplished my goal. But the last item is this like corduroy Eddie Bauer. It's actually 100% cotton and I, I don't know what size skirt I am. I don't know what size anything I am, especially like after this past year. But this is a size four and it fits pretty well. It's a bit loose on my uh, waist. So again, I just sort of like pulled it down to be a little bit more of a hip hugger um, when typically I would like it to be around my waist, but it's just like a black mid-length kind of skirt and it does have a little bit of a little slit in the back to make it a little bit more interesting and so you can actually walk in it without looking like a mermaid who's got no feet. I don't know, no legs, just fins. That's what a mermaid is, I guess, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really cool. By the way, are mermaids real? Do you believe that mermaids are real? Uh, conversation for another time. <laughs> I just thought this would look really cute with a lot of different things. Yeah, that's what I got. This is kind of like a part two to my, to all the clothes I've loved before, which if you haven't seen that, I would love if you would go and watch that because that's one of the videos I'm more proud of, I guess. It was inspired by Lena Norms. I'm talking too much because I'm out of breath. Anyway, um, People have been asking for a Q&A, and so if you were interested in asking me a question for my Q&A, definitely uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to. I mean, that'd be cool, but yeah, I'll be asking for questions on Instagram whenever I decide to um, do this Q&A, which is really intimidating and scary, so I'm sorry if it takes a little while. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.